Hello, my name is Sophia and welcome back to the Mind Palace. I feel like members of our generation are just beginning to learn about concepts like the law of attraction. You know, it can be difficult and that's why any real tangible evidence that this work should be celebrated and, and showcased. So with that being said, I would like to introduce you all to Malad Mogadis. Hello everyone, I'm grateful to be here. Malad has manifested over $20,000 worth of scholarship money and today I really want to focus on your experience with the Law of Attraction and how you've used it to your advantage, you know, to get to these positions that you've been in and like the whole experience of winning the, the scholarship money. Well, um, when I initially saw that the applications were open, I saw that it required, you know, it was an extensive process. So it was, you know, uh, minimum CGPA, references, essay, personal letter, what have you. And then after submitting the, the applications, there was really one month where I was just waiting to hear back. So what I did is, first I drew fake award certificates on two pieces of paper. So it was like a rectangle and then I wrote the award name and then I wrote recipient uh, Mila Mogadas. So two different papers and then I taped it on my wall that I always see in the morning when I wake up. The second thing I did is in the mornings when I was getting ready, uh, school work, what have you, in the shower, I would literally say out loud, quote, I am so grateful that I have been selected to receive the Joey and Toby Award and the ADT Entrepreneurship Award. So mind you, obviously I technically hadn't received it yet, but I was speaking it in the present as if it already happened. So, right. so, so that really goes back to the whole purpose of speaking it into existence, right. right? The third thing I did, and this is a whole scientific energy that I can't explain, but it's real. Um, every night before I went to bed, well, just before I was about to go to bed, I would play a song that like I just find very motivational and, 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 and uh, happy, what have you. And while I was listening to that song, I would close my eyes and I visualized the day mm -hmm. that I was either at the award ceremony or that uh, I was receiving the email that said, congratulations, you've been selected, la 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 la. Uh, maybe two, three weeks later, I was in class in the fall semester, literally, and I got the email saying, yeah. congratulations, you've been selected to receive uh, the Joey and Toby and the Aditya. So the exact two awards that I put on those right. two pieces of paper were the exact awards that I won. And that's something I really want to highlight because you're, the way that you practice like your visualization and your affirmations were at two very important times in the day. Right when you wake up yeah. and right when you go to bed. Because it sets the tone. Those, yeah, it definitely sets the tone for your entire day, but it's also when your subconscious mind is most available yeah. to be influenced. And it's it's crazy, out of the 15 scholarships yeah. you applied for, which two did you get? The, the, the ones the, that yeah. you were constantly yeah. repeating to yourself, the constantly seeing on the wall, the ones that you literally spoke into yeah. existence. And desperation breeds desire. Yeah. You know, and I I think, was desperate. Yeah. <laughs> There really was no other option. I mean, listen, there were there were several weeks, especially in the summer of, it was the summer of 2018. That was a really difficult time for me. My account was in overdraft. I mean, negative 800, negative 900, you know, having to one day in particular, which I'll never forget. And this was a very low day for me. I remember I had to go to three different payday loan places in the same day because I had no money, literally. Financial difficulties has always been a part of my life. Again, at a young age, seeing my father get laid off at elementary school. Uh, my, 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 my mother uh, enduring a gruesome divorce that took eight years. Literally and truthfully, if it were not for her, if it were not for her, I would not be in post-secondary. And, you know, my mother has made indescribable sacrifices to ensure that I can achieve a post-secondary education. So, you know, because of seeing that at a young age and seeing the, 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 negative uh, effects of, 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 of that type of difficulty in the face of adversity rather than saying why me you say try me and I suggest y'all put that I love all these like okay. all these like affirmations you're giving us <laughs> like mean, it's very clear the paradigms that you hold in your yeah. life I mean you know I think that's really important, going back to your struggles becoming your strengths, right? When you're faced with something adversarial, you know, you, you don't say, why me? You say, okay, the universe chose me for a reason to go through this. Let me show you what I'm made of and let me show you how I can overcome it, you know? You're gonna make me like cry right now. This is really hitting a spot for me, you know? What would you say to someone who hasn't built up that self-confidence, you know, who doesn't have all this like 
years of like accomplishments to like mm -hmm. to like ha get that validation from. You know, it goes back to it starts with you. I really think it, it, it starts with you. You know, your thoughts are the root of your results. What you say to yourself, it starts there. If you are a student who doesn't have that past experience and you're thinking, ugh, What's the point of applying for this? I'm not going to get it. Right. What I say in response is, okay, well, by you saying that, you are already predetermining your future. Yeah, I, I can resonate with that because I feel like when I ran for VP Student Life, at first I felt like an imposter. I felt like I don't have the experience for this. Like, yeah. what am I doing? Yeah. You know, but I had to, I wrote it on my wall, like I'm VP Student Life. I had to get myself in that mindset where I believed that I deserved it and yeah. that I could could own that yeah and I think that's what like eventually helped me to like win the position was just the mental switch from thinking like who am I like I I don't belong here to thinking like no I can actually do this I can bring a lot of positivity yeah. to this to this role quick story when I was in first year first semester of university I was a hot mess I had no idea what I was doing you know I received more 60s and 50s in my first semester first year than I did in all four years really of this is amazing to talk about because you with your 4.0 well, CGPA but this over is a here. true story I mean well, I'll put the transcript <laughs> like it was it was it was bad I wrote my GPA goal, same thing on a piece of paper, put it on the wall, and fast forward, the semester finished, and I humbly finished with a 4.17 CGPA. Yeah. And I surpassed, you know, what I put on the, what I put on the, so I, I went from like 3 to 4.17 in a matter of four months in my first year. You know, you could have, you could have easily focused on all those things that were going wrong and like all those reasons why, you know, like, the money's not working out, like maybe I should just give up, maybe I like this isn't just, it's not for me, like it's not meant to be, like you really could have taken those reasons and ran with them. Yeah, but to, your, to, but to that, right, what you just said, one thing I say is you are not the product of your circumstances, you are the product of your decisions. And that's why I feel like for you, even the manifestation process started way long before this because you really have to become what you want to attract yes. and you were already in that process you of becoming yeah, like you that. have to be <laughs> you attract what you are at the you end attract of the what you are ladies and gentlemen yeah you know you can have all the thoughts you can have all the affirmations but if you're not taking action yeah then you're really not putting the energy out there for it to come back to you to be clear we're not saying like oh you know Close your eyes and visualize getting an A plus, but you don't, but you don't attend class, but you don't study. Yeah. Right? right? Like that is that is step two. The step one is putting in the work that's necessary. Going to class, taking the notes, going to office hours, reading the textbook before the lecture, right. what have you. You have to put in the work fundamentally. Right. That's step one. If you had to name the top three reasons why you were able to manifest um, twenty thousand dollars in your own life, what would they be? My hard work. Mm -hmm. um, believing in myself mm -hmm. and my mother. Wow. Yeah, I love those that. Those will be the three. Yeah, so like basically it's like your action, you taking action, the energy that you put out, yeah. you know, you believing in yourself, it's that, that belief, it's that emotional charge. And then your mother, which was your reason why, which was your, your burning desire. Yeah. You know, to keep going, to keep pushing. The real source of my motivation. The real yeah. source of your motivation. I think everyone has to have that reason why. You have to really dig deep and get in touch with your why. Anyway, Milad, I want to say thank you so much for coming and being here of with course. me today. And, and finally, I want to say thank you all so much for watching. And this is your reminder to enjoy every precious moment. Thank you. Thank you. For more videos like this one, follow at themindpalace.ca on Instagram, like at themindpalace.ca on Facebook, and subscribe to the Mind Palace channel on YouTube.